Now, we're back and hopefully there will be no more unnecessarily long mini boss fights. There will be another succubus, however, and I am going to cheese her as I did with the other two. Succubi don't turn into bats. Well, Morgan does, but she's she's special. Well, her 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 clothes are bats. That's different. Sure. She's not comprised of bats. Hello, lady. Also, apparently, uh, male oh, incubi and dark stalkers are fucking ugly ass bug things for whatever reason. Okay. Terrible creature present me here. Yada yada yada. We've seen this song and dance before. Well, the song we've seen before. Maybe not the dance. And dark stalkers, succubi, also don't actually have to have sex to survive. They just it's emotional excitement that they get off on. <laughs> so they can literally become bored to death. Spider. Decent ass fucking spider. Now you can practically get all those fireflies that don't really matter. Yeah, I still don't remember what the fuck they do. And they give you, if you get all of them, you learn the uh, healing dance. Oh, right. That thing that is largely unnecessary considering you have infinite heal potions, basically. Basically, yeah. yeah. Spiders are creepiest when you can't see them. There's anything up there, but uh, I'm I can't even get back up there. Not without uh, the next transformation. I'm looking for a huge ass. I think you went the wrong way, Matt. No. Did you not see the tile set as shaping an arrow that pointed up straight into the ceiling? Apparently, I did not. I'm not even playing, and I'm observing better. I'm also, I'm also playing my 3DS, too. Shut up. Stop distracting me. Stop being so easily distracted. I'm sure I can get back in there. Long vertical sections. Fuck Bubble Man. I still actually should probably play probably play Mega Man too. I don't really want to play Mega Man One, but necessity perhaps might demand that I do. Necessity can go fuck itself. Well, I can't just play like every other Mega Man game but one. That would be kind of weird. I could play Powered Up, but I know you hate that as you hate many things. Seriously? Chill Penguin as Dr. Wily? Come on. Come the fuck on. I do have a. Uh... Mega Man Anniversary Collection, so theoretically, uh, theoretically, I could play Mega Man One, albeit slightly easier, I think. Poorly translated collection game. I own that as well. I think you own the GameCube version. Yes. With the mixed-up button schematics scheme.
Hey, let's make jump and fire the opposite. It's like Mega Man Hard Mode. Right, I don't think the elephant is going to do me any good. Clothes. Elephant. Elephant. You have to say it more. You have to say it like suave. Elephant. It'd be like elephant. Well. Yes, that is the one with the hilariously bad navigator mode. I think we need the next form to get the last warp squid in this place, so we're good in that regard. We'll just find our way through the rest of this shithole. I'm paying attention to where you're going, so I don't remember where the spider webs are. And closer to the entrance. Well, it's not that Alia was incompetent, it's just that she interrupted at all completely inopportune moments. Yes. That means eventually I'll have to play X7 too. That's gonna be a thing. I think I'm gonna turn the TV down a little bit for that one. What, you don't wanna hear burn to the ground? Yeah, sure, why not? Meanwhile, I'm gonna go grab another drink. You also did say it with enough, like. Your voice didn't, like, break. Yeah, well, I don't want to scream too loud, you know, because people with headphones will have bleeding ears. Burn! Burn to the ground! No, that's not even close to right. Monkey, go! I think the problem is I don't, I just don't have the right kind of voice for that. Or monkey, no go. I have a little too much baritone, I think. Damn it! Sure, where'd you go? Didn't they reuse? I think they reuse a lot of uh, X7's voice cast elsewhere. I believe Peter Von Gram, who voiced X and X7 voiced Gray and ZXA. Yeah, ZXA had the same voice actors as X7. I don't know, I kind of liked uh, Zero's voice in X7. Unnecessarily deep, but... Meanwhile, yeah. the voice actor for... X80 has gone on record saying he would like to kneecap the guy who did him in ZX Advent. I forgot who won. That reminds me, I need to look up who the fuck Lance Reddick is. Uh, I've never heard of him. Wait a minute, it's not this direction. It's... I think the other way. Lance Reddick. Oh, wait, here's some spiders. Right, we're good. Um, I think there were webs off in this other direction, though. I recall seeing something. Naturally, I need the monkey to get over there without it taking forever. He was in the American Godzilla movie. As who? Uh, an unnamed soldier, looks like. Oh. He was also in... What the Deaf Man Heard, Great Expectations, The Fixer. Witness the Mob, Godzilla, The Siege. I Dreamed of Africa. Wouldn't it be I Dreamt of Africa? I don't know. 
Don't say a word. Bridget. Keep the faith, baby. Brother to brother. Dirty work. Tennessee. None of these movies are even remotely familiar to me. Uh, which way do I want to go? Jonah Hex is familiar, but... I don't know. I've never seen whatever that is. That's from John Wick. What the fuck is that movie even about? Fuck if I know. I, I, the only thing I know about it is I think Keanu Reeves is in it. What's his name? Uh, John Wick. No idea. Kind of sucks. People give Keanu Reeves a lot of crap even though he's not actually a terrible actor, really. No, he's just a strange man. John does this fall under. It's an action thriller. Well, I mean, that's probably alright. Always sunny. I've never. Always sunny in Philadelphia. Why didn't I change into a monkey? The only thing I've heard him in besides Destiny is uh, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Apparently he voiced Falcon. This is who? Falcon. No, I mean, who are you talking about? Uh, Lance Reddick. That's who I was looking out, remember? Right. He has a he kind of has a bit of a Phil Lamar kind of voice going for him. You know, I I can't um, for the life of me remember what Phil Lamar did before I heard him in Jack and Daxter. He was uh, wasn't it? It was either Mad TV or Saturday Night Live, one of the two. I think it was Mad TV. I just remember thinking the first time I played Jack 2, oh cool, that's Phil Lamar. And then I'm like, years later, I just can't remember what the fuck Phil Lamar actually did. <laughs> the way when that thing is, the statue is looking down like that, he looked kind of concerned. puzzles. I was pretty amused to find out that Phil Lamar voiced uh, Ramza in the FFT, the PSP version. Alright, now the thing looks concerned. Or looked concerned. What you should do, Cor, is make me a cocktail. Just imagine Phil Lamar voicing a... Not really pompous, but... Clearly going for like a... Sounding like a British white boy. Hmm. Does a surprisingly good job at it. Considering how black he sounds as uh, Sig and Jack and Daxter, it's... Yeah, very surprising. Multi-talented. Unfortunately, I don't really have the kind of voice that's very good for for voice acting. I don't think. I just have a an irritating voice. Hey, yeah, how's uh, was gonna say? Kind of like a nasally teenager kind of voice. Kind of, yeah. <clears throat> Not really cut out for, you know, anything. Other than... You, you could maybe voice like Marty in Back to the Future. And be sound like an actual teenager.
as long as I don't have to be like super serious, I, I seem to be able to do kind of okay with with voices. Like in uh, Kirby Superstar when I did the bird voice. <laughs> But where the fuck is Risky? Yeah, she's beat us to all uh, two of the other stones. Funny that she didn't manage to beat us to this one. She can't turn into a spider. Hello! Oh, there she is. Allow me to provide you with some exposition. And what's that? Risky. risky gets her ass kicked. I don't know what's going on. Ah. I was gonna say perhaps Ixnay on the uh, flip KK. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know how that whole Latin thing works. Would it be like Ip flick A? Ixnay on the Ick flay. Ick flay it. Uh. Yeah. See. I'm I'm tongue twisting myself. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Shut up. <laughs> It's uh Ik K Ipflay. Or as says Freakazoid did it. Grandma Moses makes munchy meat on most Mondays. Uh right. I believe that was like either the first or second episode of Freakazoid one. Dexter's brother's like rough on they're doing the roughhousing thing and Freakazoid pops out it's like, you must be Duncan. Let's wrestle. <laughs> oh, I love Freakazoid. It is a great show. Hey Freakazoid, you wanna go to the Honey Harvest Festival in Acton? Do I The spider form is largely useless in this fight. Well, mostly because it takes too fucking long to transform at all, so... Yeah, the only thing you use it for is just to avoid him, and really you can just jump over the fucking thing. I'm sorry we're critiquing your game so much, Matt Bozon. I, I love it, I really do. It's just, you know... The first one, it had its flaws. It was a little unpolished. It does have that sweet, sweet Jake Kaufman sound. Indeed. How about you stop that? Jesus, this boss fight. I know, it's just going on forever and ever and ever and ever. God, are you dead yet, Fig? Jesus Christ. I'm trying to wonder if I'm missing something. game can't handle all this. There we go. Jesus. That took for fucking ever. What impeccable timing. Indeed. We'll see you next time on Radical Bromance. Where?
instead of obnoxiously long mini boss fights, it's obnoxiously long boss fights. <laughs>